in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 million years ago expansion started. Wait, the earth began to cool, the autotrophs began to drool, Neanderthals developed tools, we built a wall. We built the pyramids, math, science, history, unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. Good morning and welcome to Science and Society. I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper, BS, MS, MA, PhD, and SCD. OMG, right? <laughs> Perhaps that joke was a little too hippy-dippy for this crowd. All right, then, we'll begin with opening remarks. Ms. Rostenkowski, would you like to start us off by discussing your assessment of science's responsibility to society? Sure. I think all branches of science have to move cautiously these days. It's not just giant nuclear weapons that can destroy the world. As a microbiologist, I can tell you even the tiniest organisms can still tear you a new one. We interrupt this program for a breaking news report. Good evening, everybody. This is Drake Snow for VBC Live, and we interrupt this program for a breaking news report. We've just received disturbing rumors from all over the world, including Paris, Brussels, Moscow, New York, Beijing, and even Rio de Janeiro, describing the outbreak of a possible epidemic. Surprisingly, the outbreak has been traced, and is found to be predominantly restricted to scientific seminars and symposiums all over the world. Some local authorities even describe infected individuals as being in a zombie-like status. The limited medical information available describes people infected with the disease as having the following symptoms. An absent state of mind, low social skills, an addiction to caffeine, and a psychotic craving for free food. As soon as we have more information available, we will keep you updated. And people, this is serious. So, stay in the safety of your own home, and if you do meet a person that fits the symptoms we just described, RUN! Hello, dear public. This is Andreas Papayorgios from the BBC. We are reporting here from a facility where some activity has been reported. Nevertheless, it's not confirmed. We are going to try to check if it's true or not. Please follow me and see what happened. Oh my god, you see this? You got it? Yes. This is mayhem. Look like a like a like apocalypsis. Come on, follow me. Check, check this out. Check this out. Me, somebody died over here. Wow, we are not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Come on, follow me. See, it has been like a, you know, a single human around. What could happen? Even the radio is still on. Wow, and there is blood all around. And, and, what's up here? Please follow me. Wow, not a single life sign. This is really hard. They have been reported from policemen that never came back from this facility. So please, if you see this last time, Andrea Papa Jones from UPC, say goodbye to me, my aliens, and to all of you. See ya, let's check it. Here we're seeing, oh my god, there's, there's blood. There's a track of blood upstairs. And, and, wow, there's blood everywhere in the building. Wow, even a crash window. Wait a minute, there is a track of blood. Somebody has been pulling off. My god, we are following. What? It's a disaster. My god, it was supposed to be offices. Wait a minute, we can see. We found foot. <gasps> a human foot. An ass. A bloody ass. Bloody hands. Bloody guy. We are getting close. It's mayhem everywhere. Papers all around. The toilet. The toilet. Oh. See, zombies. It's movement. Oh my god. It's alive. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, I cannot believe what I've seen! Wow! My god, we are inside the facility and I hear noises. Maybe they have the air conditioning. Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. 
Play with us. In what seems to be apocalyptic times, striking reports from Canvas, a local Belgian news channel, give some ray of hope. A possible cure to the zombie-like status has been found. Our local Belgian correspondent, Andrea Papagorgios, is on the scene to where the cure has been found. The city of Ghent. We go live to you, Andrea. Yes, Drake. Here we are in Ghent, where the cure was found. After surviving the zombie fest, we here we are with a person in responsibility for finding the cure. Professor Rapunzel is going to tell us the story. Professor. Yes, Andrea. We've been working really hard for the last couple of days, especially because one of our team members was affected as well. And we tried to, to find what is the problem, and we saw that some people are actually immune to this infection. And we saw that everybody who was immune was attending a, a symposium in Belgium called White. So we took those people and we analyzed them and found one active ingredient, and that one we've isolated and concentrated into a syrup, and which is drinkable, nice red color as well, and when you drink this, you feel immediately better. You feel this sudden rush going through your body. And you're so better, so much better immediately. Give it a go, try it. Sure. Whoa. Can you feel the vibes? Yes. 